Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to Intuitive Clarity with Allison Nichols. Scorpio, this is going to be your general March forecast. So if it doesn't resonate with you, please check out your moon and rising signs as well. And while I'm shuffling the cards, I have a few announcements to make. First of all, thank you so much for um, the response that I got for the February reading. You guys are amazing. Thank you so, so very much. I love every, every comment. Um, even the dislikes, I didn't care. I didn't care. I was just so happy to see such a great response. I hit a record actually because of Scorpio. Um, so, and still rolling. So anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I could not appreciate it more. All right. I did want to mention that I am happily announced that I have finally finished, um, the tarot deck that I was creating. I am going to put them on the market. I did a um, quick little five-minute um, uh, sneak preview of the cards. It is called The Fairy's Journey, and I've been working on this for a year. <laughs> so uh, happy to announce I'm finally done with the cards, and now I just have to do the book and the box, uh, create the box, design it, and we're ready to roll. So hopefully March mid-March, uh, late March, I should um, be able to announce that they are actually on the market. That's my goal. That's my goal and I'm sticking to it. So um, please check out that video. Give me some comments. Tell me what you think. Um, it was a year work in progress and a big, big learning curve. It's the first time I've ever um, done any digital creating or anything. So it's it was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know what to do with myself now. I don't have any cards to create. It's over. But whatever. I'll have to create a new deck. Also, if you would like your own personal intuitive clarity reading, Scorpio, please click on the link below. I am not going to take the prices back up from the sale. I'm just going to leave them alone. It was um, real positive and successful. So um, if it ain't broke, I'm not going to fix it. Uh, so you get a longer reading for less money, and I get to meet you, which is great for me, and I make a little bit of money. So everybody wins. All right, Scorpio. With all of that, I'm done with that now. Let's see what's happening for Scorpio March 2019. Of course, we're going to do numerology and clarification. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. The number we're walking into is six. I only have one to pull from. Um, is the number six. So six is about a lot of things. It could be about your past coming back. Um, it could be money owed to you coming to you. It could also be if you were looking to, um, finance something, now is the time you're seeking out the loan or you're um, trying to get donations if you run a charity. Um, it's also about uh, having going out and having fun, too. So let's do some clarification here. I have a lot of major arcana. So there's some stuff going on here. Okay, Scorpio. All right, so to start that first week of March, I do get um, the page. He's bringing in spring. Go figure. Um, but anyway, he is also my creative guy, and he's quite passionate as well. Um, he's very emotional. And then I get um, your home on uh, move. OK, now, if you are looking into making some type of a resident move um, where you're moving from one home to another, um, it could be this is the beginning of um, that process. So it could be this is because he's very creative, too. So it could be that um, you are starting to create that process in your head, figuring out how to make that happen. It also could be that. You are, um, there is a new creative thing that you are actually bringing at home now. You are finally bringing it home. All right. Um, but we'll do some more clarification here. I do get the fool of the second week. Be very careful. Um, and I get the shepherd. So when I get the shepherd in general, it means um, 
of course, a love of life, but it also um, means like going out with people, um, also managing people. All right. Now, here we have the fool, so it's blind faith, but he is reversed. So you might be putting your faith in the wrong people, okay, or the wrong situation. Um, but we're going to. We're going to check that out here. We're going to add to that. Now, I do also the third week, I do get the lover's card reversed. And so that is a partnership that's either not moving forward or um, you're wanting to move away from it in some form. Um, not coming at all. But I did get the clover, which is good news. So if you were waiting on a relationship to flip, so in other words, if it wasn't moving very fast and you were waiting on it um, to switch up, I am getting some good news here. So possibly with the clarification cards, Scorpio, we could be seeing that that is actually going to move forward um, as you wish it to do. All right. Now, that fourth week, I do get some gossip. And it's about old stuff. This person's been gossiping for a while. Okay. Whether you knew it or not, um, there is some gossip. Now, it could also be that there is some old um, stuff that comes out through gossip. My page of um, swords is my gossipy guy. Um, he brings in communication. All right. He also brings in some trouble. <laughs> um, so he is, if he were a fairy, I'd make him a pixie. Um, so he is definitely um, bringing up some old stuff. All right. My anchor is old stuff. So he is bringing up some old stuff, perhaps um, unwantedly. So perhaps you had buried that deep and now here it comes. Somebody's got to go bringing that up again kind of thing. Or if someone did you a favor, maybe they're throwing that back in your face. Um, and it's like, oh, God, here we go again on that fourth week. All right. So let me do some clarification. Actually, I'm feeling this. Okay. Wow. Uh-huh. Okay. So we have the um, six of cups reversed, which is something from the past. All right. When it is straight up, it is someone coming back from the past or some um, emotional situation coming back from the past. But because it is uh, reversed, whatever this is, this new creative idea or this new flirtation, OK, um, that is finally coming home to roost. It's not from the past. This is new. OK, so in other words, it's not a past love coming back. Um, it's not a previous um, creative project. Or if it is a previous creative project, it is um, at completion also. Um, but it, I do believe this is something new. So you're going to get some kind of a new spark or a new flirtation. Um, something's going to happen and it is not from your past. This is not somebody, I know Scorpios, we're so used to our past, um, loves tending to pop up randomly. I, we can't let go. And for whatever reason, they can't let go. Of us. <laughs> so, um, whatever this is, it's not from the past. Now here is an offer coming that you're not seeing. All right. I need you to be careful. All right, because you're paying attention to these guys down here and you're not seeing what's what's coming up here. All right, you're ignoring this. And remember, I said you have blind faith, probably in the wrong people on the second week. There's something you're missing that you probably should be paying attention to. You're so focused on the tried and the true and what you know. Um, what you believe to be good, that you you could be missing something here. So we'll clarify that also. Now, some secrets, some things you're keeping quiet. You're keeping close to the best about this partnership, all right? But it is good news, okay? So if you were the one who were, who 
is thinking you're just privately thinking about moving this relationship farther, whatever this partnership is, business, um, love, whatnot. If you are um, thinking about moving that forward, you're not talking about it yet. It's still in the thought process. You're still kind of analyzing it. Um, and you might even be going internally for inner guidance as well. Um, you might be requesting some um, universal um, help. Um, you might be doing a little manifestation work, okay? So if you have not gotten any new loves coming your way and this is what you want, this is, this is your goal, it's there for you. You can man manifest it, okay? Sometimes keeping it quiet is not necessarily such a good thing, right? Because then nobody knows, all right? Um, and you're also not sending it out to the universe. Our words have power. A lot of energy, a lot of power come, comes with words. So if you are talking negatively, negatively about a subject, say you're always saying you're broke. Don't do that. You're not. Um, you have enough, all right? You never broke. Um, so if you use that terminology, then guess what? That's You believe it, and that's what the universe hears. So guess what? You always just have enough to pay your bills, so you're broke after you pay your bills. Um, so it's the same thing here. If this is something that you want, it might not be a bad idea to talk the talk, all right? Walk the walk. If you manifest things, if you do moon rituals, this would be a good time to do that. I believe you've got a lot of power going on here. All right. Fourth week. Okay. We get the fool again. We get blind faith again. Um, okay. Whatever this gossip is that's old, that came out, okay, um, I believe it could have been from, it could be about maybe back in the second week, because here it is again, right? So we have, sorry, my phone, um, my grandson's still at school, so I got to pay attention. Anyway, um, so we have the blind faith the second week, okay, and possibly believing in the wrong people, not necessarily seeing everything, not paying attention, all right? Here we are, we've got the gossip that could be going on for a long time. Blind faith again, all right? Be careful who you're listening to. They might not be telling you all that you need to know, or they might be sending you the wrong messages in general, um, lying, okay? Um, bad speculation. Be careful who you put your trust and faith in that for, the, actually the second and the fourth week, okay? Um, let me do another clarification card. Sorry, my dog Watson's in here, and when he, I lock him out, he cries to get in. So I bring him in and close the door, and he cries to get in. <laughs> he no, no. All right. Ah, sorry, Scorpio. Okay, so I do get um, the brass ring, okay? Now, this is a happy marriage, the golden ring. This is a happy marriage. All right, so whatever this new thing is that is coming in, whether it's a creative project, whether it is... Um, a move. Remember, we talked about a residence, a possible residence move. It's happy. All right. It's going to make everyone happy, which is great. That's what you want to hear. All right. So um, you need to give up the ghost, give up the past. So in other words, if you're having a hard time getting rid of your home because you just don't want to, you're, you're attached to it in some way. It's OK. Um, it's good. It's for the best. All right. It's just a house. It's just a person, you know, it's it's a tangible thing. It's not an emotional, spiritual thing. It's just it's just a house or a home. Um, now, if um, this is someone that um, new comes in that is more love relationship or a romance thing that we know is we've already established. This isn't from your past. This is brand new. 
Um, he could be moving into your neighborhood. He or she could be moving into your neighborhood. Um, it looks like this is going to be a really good, fun partnership. So even if you guys just become friends, I believe that it's going to be a committed friendship. It's going to be long term, um, which is fabulous. So be looking for that on the first week. Second week, I do have um, the bouquet of flowers, um, which is um, basically happiness. Okay. But he remember, he is on top of, and it's also a gift. All right. Remember, he's on top of not seeing what's out here, um, having blind faith possibly in the wrong people. All right. The gift I believe that you could be getting is to pay attention to everything. Watch it all. Don't be so um, focused and zeroing in on um, what you already know. Um, be kind of on the outlook for other for other things that is coming your way as well, other information, all right? Um, it is a gift, all right? This could even be your intuition. It is a gift. Watch your blind faith. Use your intuition. It's there for you. There is help out there um, about um, making sure that you are trusting and putting your faith in the correct people, okay? Use your gifts. Now, this is speculation, good speculation, good ideas. Remember, I said you're starting to think about some things, some internal things about a relationship. Okay. So um, you are definitely getting good intuition about how to handle this partnership. All right. It is good news about this partnership. Um, so trust your intuition. That's a big deal with the high priestess. Um, trust your intuition. You are right on the money, okay? Um, even if it seems weird, like there is no possible way, trust your intuition because it's there. It's telling you something for a reason. And it has good news for you when it comes to a partnership that might have gone awry, might have gone south, or that you want to move forward, all right? Now, here we go with um, that fourth week. We are losing. There is a loss here. And it's on top of having blind faith. I believe you're starting to lose your faith um, due to this gossip or this um, particular person. Um, you might have known them for a long time, but you're starting to lose your faith in them. All right. Hopefully they're not losing their faith in you, but I see it more as you are losing your faith in them. Um, there's been some things that came out through this gossip with my safe reverse Some things that came out through this gossip um, that is, is going to make you realize that, hey, I trusted them way too much. I gave them an inch. They took a mile kind of thing. Okay, so let's see how we are doing in the going into the month of April. Scorpio, what haven't I used yet? I feel like I'm missing. I'm missing something. Nope. Okay. I guess not. Let's see these. So, how is Scorpio feeling going into the month? Of April leaving March. Be careful who you trust, um, who you tell things to. Be careful who you trust that fourth week. Okay, don't put your faith in anybody. If you do have any secrets, keep them close to the vest and pay attention to who you talk to. All right, um, a lot going on. We get the Eight of Wands. Okay, so that is a lot happening, a whole lot happening. And um, I also get the Five of Swords reversed and the Page of Pentacles reversed. So that is um, with new opportunities. Page of Pentacles brings you new goals, new opportunities. The, when it's straight up, but it is reversed. So it appears as if you might be... Um, pulling away because I'm getting the five of swords as well. So it appears almost as if you are choosing not to have um, 
any quarrels with this particular person. And that could be an earth sign. Um, pentacles are about earth. So that is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So it could be that you are choosing not to have any communication or contact with this particular person. Because here we have the page again, um, just like we did at the end of the month. So it could be that because of what came out, you are going to choose not to basically cut off the communication for now. Not, maybe not forever, but for now, until you can get a better perspective on things. Scorpio, use your intuition. That's why it's here. It's trying to come to you. There's something that um, the universe or your guides or whatever is trying to relay to you. So you need to pay attention to your intuition in the month of March. It's quite important. Um, there is a new creative project that you are going to be married to, um, perhaps. And it's not an old one. This is fresh. So in other words, if you were doing a creative project that you were cleaning up, Going into the month of March, um, I believe there's going to be another spark, another passion. Um, so it could be that, or there just could be another romantic um, partnership coming to you. Okay. Um, so great, great, great cards. Um, I know we didn't get uh, the Wheel of Fortune on top of each other like we did last month, but that's okay. Hey, it can't always be lucky. Um, so anyway, pay attention to your intuition this month, Scorpio. And, of course, um, like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, please check out the um, preview, the sneak preview of the cards. I'm going to attach that link. I'm going to try to attach the link at the end of this video um, and just click on it. It's only five minutes, but it's fun. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Until April, Scorpio, I want you to have a great month. And, as always, I'm sending loving energy your way. Bye-bye.